Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm back here at Sioka Subaru in Ewing, New Jersey to check out this brand new 2023 Subaru Forester Sport in ice silver metallic with a black with orange cross stitch interior, which I think looks pretty cool. We haven't seen the sport trim before on the Forester, so we're gonna get this one done before the 2024s arrive in probably another couple of weeks. So let's dig in. Front end of our Forester Sport, again, that ice silver metallic with the gloss black grille surround. Subaru badge in the middle. We have LED headlights, LED daytime running lamps, LED fog lamps, standard bulbs, return signals. But I do like the fact that even though we got some gloss black around here, this is flat, down below is flat, and the orange stripe gives it a little something something. Let me know what you think. Wheel and tire package on the Forester Sport. We have an 18 inch machined aluminum alloy wheel in like a matte or satin black finish. Subaru badge on the center cap, standard brake and rotor package. Now these 18 inch wheels are wrapped in Falcon. All season tires, 225 on the width, a 55 series sidewall 18s, all four corners, all wheel drive. Full side profile on this Forester Sport. Again, the ice silver metallic. It's a good color, especially with the black wheels and the flat black around the wheel arches and on the door sills. We got that orange stripe down below too to give, make sure everybody knows it's a sport, as well as the orange up on the roof rails. So it looks pretty good for a boxy SUV. Let me know what you guys think. As we move in closer, there is that flat black around the wheel arches. And then down below the door sills with the orange, we have color matched side view mirror with LED turn signals, color matched on the front and the rear door handle. The fuel filler door is on the right side of the car. And then we have the roof spoiler coming off the top, color matched roof, color matched shark fin antenna, flat black on the roof rails with the orange. And then we have a oversized sunroof. Taking a look at the back end of the Sport, we do have the wiper down below. We have a huge glass panel in the back with this roof spoiler coming off the top. Would have been nice to tuck this up. Let me know what you guys think would clean things up, protect it from the car washers and the elements. Subaru badge in the middle. We have Subaru all-wheel drive on the left. The Forester Sport script on the right side of the tailgate. LED taillights, standard bulbs for turn signals. Down below, this is all flat black on the bumper area here with your bumper protector right here with the orange stripe. And then we have a single-sided exhaust coming out the right. Let me know if we should have another one balancing out a dual exhaust, one on each side. I think it would have looked balanced for sure, but with the sport trim, maybe a little dual exhaust action would have been cool. Under the hood of this 23 Forester Sport, we have Subaru's 2.5 liter naturally aspirated flat four engine Mated to a Lineartronic CVT transmission with seven manual shift modes and SNI drive, 182 horsepower, 176 pound feet of torque, MPGs, 26 in the city, 33 on the highway, 29 combined. The engine's minimum octane rating is 87, so you can run this on regular unleaded gas. Before we get into the interior of this Forester Sport, you're going to want to know, Mike, I like the way this looks. How much am I going to have to lay out to get into one of these? Well, here we go. Base price for the 2023 Forester Sport before options, $31,265. Now, this one has some options. Number one, it has option package 24 for an additional $1,645. That gives you the reverse automatic braking system, the Subaru Starlink 8-inch multimedia plus audio system with Harman Kardon speaker system and the power rear tailgate. An extra 162 for the rear bumper cover, an extra 132 for the all-weather floor liners, and an extra $78 for the interior LED lighting upgrade. Add in destination and delivery of $1,225 from Subaru's Gunma Japan assembly plant. And we have a total vehicle MSRP from the factory of $34,507. Let's check out the interior. 
Starting with the foot box, a nice large dead pedal brake and accelerator, all rubber finish. We have those all season Subaru floor mats in the car looking good. We have a flat black Subaru door sill plate to welcome you to the vehicle. Now, seating wise, you have power seats with lumbar for the driver, manual assist for the front passenger, and then we have what Subaru calls their sport cloth upholstery with orange cross stitch. And it looks good, two different designs. It looks like we got StarTex out here, then cloth on the insert, but it feels good. Headrests feel nice, bolstering feels good. Really nice looking interior in this sport. Door panel, I'm really liking this Forester door panel here. We got soft touch up top, up front, and we have the cloth with the sport tag right there on the seat, so that's kind of cool. We have a nice soft armrest with orange cross stitch, flat black on the switch gear, some faux carbon fiber in and around that chrome door handle, a good, pretty good sized door pocket, and then we do have the upgraded Harman Kardon speakers in here as well. More soft touch with the stitching, with this rubberized design, which I like, and then down below, nice large glove box. All right, looking at this system, obviously the Forester still has the older Subaru system with separate dual panels. So up top, as you can see, you got dual panel action. Right there, right now, we have the time of day, the uh, climate control on, and of course, miles to empty and average miles per gallon and all that jazz. So in the newer systems, it's combined into one big giant 11.6 inch vertically mounted infotainment system, this is still the old separate style. So we have an eight inch down below Subaru Starlink system, right? Wired CarPlay, Android Auto, and you can Bluetooth your phone, you can go to your settings, you can change your driver, driver profiles and all that jazz, set up your Wi-Fi hotspot. Uh, you can go to your media, like I said again, and can, you can do your phone or connect up via USB or aux jack or all that good jazz. So they have this setup, it's fairly easy to use. Now we don't have nav in here. So all of your, uh, oop, let's get that going. There we go. All of your uh, nav and maps will come through your phone, but you can change what's up here on that separate panel. But I'm assuming, I'm hoping that the 2024 Forester is gonna have the newer system in here and not this old one because we still got the old CD player right here as well, where you can rock out to those old Van Halen tunes um, or whatever else you may like to listen to. But we'll see what happens down the road. But if we go into reverse, we do have a nice large backup camera with trajectory, nice and clear. No problem. You got that rear braking assist on right here. And then you can go back to park and you're good to go. Here's your four-way hazards. Here's your radio, phone, media, and apps controls. Here's your volume knob, tuning knob right down there. Down further, here's your dual climate with four-way hazards. So you got that going on. Down below, as you can see right there, see if you can get it focused. Aux jack, two USB-A's and a 12 volt. No, no wireless charging, but you can slide your phone in here if you want to try that out. And of course, with the USB-A's in there, you can get a USB-A to USB-C adapter. It costs about $5. Love the shifter with the leather and the stitching and the orange on the shifter. It looks really good. Can take you through this Lydiatronic CVT. Love the fact that we have the stitching right up here on the center stack as well. So it really, really brings in some nice vibes to you inside the passenger cockpit. Electric... Uh, Emergency brake, auto vehicle hold on or off. Here are your X modes that you can go through right here. And then we have heated seats for the driver and the front passenger two stage. So it looks really, really good. And we'll show you what the X modes look like right now because they're going to show up up top. So we go to our X modes and there we go. Snow and dirt. I'm trying to get this focused in for you. There you go. Deep mud, snow, snow, snow and dirt. And if we push it, we go back to normal. So there you have it. Sorry about that focusing problem. Two cup holders. Then we have our Subaru key fob. Lock. The emblem is unlock. Pop the tailgate. Panic button. Nice weight. And then center armrest. 
nice and soft more stitching open it up and you do have another 12 volt in an area for storage subaru steering wheel nice leather wrap steering wheel with the orange stitching and the orange trim to lift it up like what they did here round bottom wheel but i got plenty of room to get in and out of this forester it is a big airy driver cockpit flat black on the switch gear telephone and voice commands here on the left with your source and info information and your volume and then on the right side you have your s and i drive and then you have your safety suite controls cruise control paddles to go through the simulated seven gears of this linear tronic cvt on the left stalk headlights and fog lamps and on the right front and rear wiper down below we have the uh, pop the tailgate steering responsive headlights on or off i would leave that on here's your memory tailgate that's that hands-free action and then the bright and dim the dash down below traction control off there's your engine auto stop start on or off and then you have your um, uh, parking sensors and you can change how that is going to be how far away the car has to be from you before they go off steering wheel we have a manual tilting and telescoping wheel so subaru has you covered that way and then we have the analog digital combo analog gauges for your speedometer tachometer fuel level or excuse me speedometer and tach tachometer your fuel level is in that small display in the center and using the buttons down here on the bottom left side of your steering column you can then go ahead and change the information you see here in the center screen and you can also configure what you would like to see up here on this dual panel screen as you would go through let's say display beep climate control let's say we want climate control we can hit set and then we're set on the climate control so they have other things you can do in here and it's fairly easy to use um, but I would expect in 2024 you'll see that new screen. Overhead console, here's the spot for your shades. Now, LED lighting on the dome lighting. If you want it to come on and off when you open and close the door, this button over here clicked all the way to the left on door. You open the door, lighting comes on, close the door, the lighting will go off. SOS button in case there's an emergency on the road. Lane keep assist on, off. And then we have our parking sensors here. You can turn them off or you can, again, turn them back on and give you an idea of where everybody is around you and when you want that to beep off. The other one down below that I mentioned before, that is for your blind spot distance and all that other good stuff. So they got you covered there. Now, roof. We have a manual shade on this oversized roof. So if you push that all the way back, you really got to stretch pretty far back. I think I'd like to see an automatic shade. And once you got that open, you can open up your roof. There's the wind buffeter, and the roof is going to go back that far here on this oversized roof. One click back as well, and it comes all the way back. And then you kind of have to reach almost above your rear seat passengers to get that back over. So I think that needs to be automatic. Now, here we go with our sun visor vanity with an LED light. And does it slide? No, but you do have the extension to block out the side sun. Then in the back seat of the Forester Sport, we'll zip on in. And with being such a boxy shape, easy to get in. Really easy. Plenty of room for my head, shoulders, and knees at 5 foot 11. We got the StarTex material all the way down to pockets with a little cubby here for your phone. So they got you set there here on the back of the seat, which I like. And it's the same action on the back of the passenger seat, and you also have the sport tag right here on the seats as well. So I think that's a pretty cool touch. In the back here, we have two heat and air vents, and then we have two USB-As. Obviously, this is for heated rear seats, but not available in the sport. But again, you can get an adapter for those to change them over to a C. Back door panel, same action as the front. Same nice vibe. There's your front door panel looking good. Here's the back door panel looking exactly the same with the sport tag on it. So thank you, Subaru, for keeping everything cool on the back door panel. Now, back seat, same as the front with the stitching, with the two different designs, with the, with the orange cross stitch on the seats as well. And then we have our center armrest. 
super soft, two cup holders. So you got plenty of space and wicked amount of headroom in the back of this Forester Sport. All right, getting in the tailgate area, pop it from the key fob, pop it from the dash, or you can come to the back. You can do that foot thing on, underneath the bumper, but I'm just gonna pop it from underneath the Subaru badge. Nice electric assist on the way up, nice electric assist on the way down using this button. And now with the rear seats up, 28.9 cubic feet of cargo space. We move in, sport all season, our sport carpeted mats, I like that. And with the cross stitch as well, so that's really good. Your all season Subaru cargo mats in here. Underneath here, you have more storage right there. And then underneath this, we got the spare and the jack. So thank you Subaru for the spare. Here's a subwoofer for your Harman Kardon sound system. On the left side, look at that, 12 volt action. So they got you covered there. And now tonneau cover, which is removable. They get the rear seats down. You just have to reach in, pull the knob, down they go. Reach in, pull the knob, down they go. Now, with the rear seats down and that tonneau cover out, you're looking at 74.1 cubic feet of space in the back of this Forester and really high as well for those really tall items and the boxy shape really helps that. Subaru window sticker, here we are zooming on in to this 23 Forester. Consumer Reports recommended vehicle, fuel economy, final assembly point in Ota, Gunma, Japan, standard equipment, Options, total, total vehicle MSRP. Let's take this baby out for a spin. All right, we are on the road in this 2023 Subaru Forester Sport with all wheel drive, of course. Every Subaru's got all wheel drive. Huge, voluminous passenger and driver cabin in here with this tall roof and the boxy shape. Huge amount of visibility out the front windshield, side glass, rear glass, no problem. We have Subaru EyeSight technology, blind spot monitoring, cross traffic alert, lane keep assist, rear braking assist, all of those are illuminated right now on that top screen. I do have the camera angled down a little bit to try to show you as much of the, of the cockpit as I can as I'm driving down the road so you can see I have easy access to everything in here which is nice we have a nice compliant drive uh, right now I am in S drive with engine auto stop start off and it is fairly soft it is not a sporty car I would say this is a sport appearance package and it's a very attractive sport appearance package but it really feels good going down, going down the road suspension is damped really really well handling is a bit light it's a bit vague but you know what it's a suv that's going to get you and your family and your friends and your gear around town so i'm not looking for wrx steering in here blind spot monitor to work good with that guy going by me now turning radius here we go and that's pretty darn good whips right around and then off we go now we'll do an emergency stop in three two one yeah, stops on a dime and gives you change straight away, too. And this naturally aspirated 2.5 flat 4 gets you going. No problem. Down the road you go. Easy peasy, one, two, three. So it's, it's really an easy vehicle to drive. And I think that's why Subaru sells so many of these. This is our first look at the Forester. Uh, and this is probably the last 2023 Forester they're going to have on their lot for sale before the 2024s arrive. And they'll be arriving probably here uh, early November. Uh, and then we'll get those 2024 Foresters on the channel as well. But I wanted to do the sport trim because we haven't done one yet. And I'm really liking what I see. Now, obviously, the tech in here is older than what we've seen in all the newer Subarus first time we've done a review with the old style double panel wired CarPlay Android Auto Starlink system in a long time so I'm fully expecting the 24 Forester is going to have the upgrade I'd be a bit disappointed if it didn't 
But otherwise, I got heated seats, I got all-wheel drive, I got my X modes to go through, so in case I gotta go off-road or I'm going through a lot of snow, I'm all set there. So I'm good there. I got my eyesight safety suite of technology. I got a good looking interior with this sport cloth uh, seat with the orange stitching. It looks really, really nice. The orange stitching really pops too on the interior, which I really like. And it's complemented by the orange uh, striping on the outside of the vehicle as well. So aesthetically, I think it's a really ple pleasing look. And that's why I think Subaru sells so many of these sports because it comes at a pretty good price point 34 35 grand and gets you into one of these and that's pretty darn good for what you get you get decent gas mileage and you get plenty of room to haul stuff around so i can really tell why people like these cars and why they buy them all right now we're moving back down the road easy peasy one two three that's just a really easy vehicle to drive Obviously, with all this glass, we're going to get wind noise. We're going to get road noise in this uh, Forester. Because that's a lot of glass, hit, and it's a boxy shape. So it's kind of like a brick going through the air. So it's going to pick up that wind. But it gets the job done, and at the end of the day, that's really all you can ask of this Forester is to get you and your family, your friends, your gear around town economically, reliably. This 2.5 liter naturally aspirated flat four is going to give you thousands and thousands of miles of trouble free motoring, I believe. Uh, so I think uh, Subaru's got a real winner with this Forester, and uh, I think it's going to be something hopefully to look forward to in 2024 if they make some interior upgrades to this tech. But let me know, would you go ahead and grab yourself a 2023 Forester now? Maybe try to get a good deal on one of these as the 2024s are going to be appearing at dealerships soon? Or are you going to wait for the 2024 Forester and grab one then? Let me know in the comments. Or are you going to go somewhere else with your hard-earned SUV money? Let me know in the comments. But I'd like to thank Sioka Subaru here in Ewing, New Jersey for allowing the channel access to this 2023 Subaru Forester Sport for review today. I'd like to thank all of you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. Please also consider subscribing and turn on that notification bell so you'll never miss another Shabby's Rides video. And I'll see all of you on the rebound. Take care, everyone.